Well, to be honored by our table today is a pretty big thing for me. I've been with the, the organization since the beginning. I was one of the founding board members. And it's just been very exciting to sort of see where the organization has come over the last four decades. And um, I've been privileged to serve on the board twice, to be a president and a co-president, and to sort of be asked ever so often about different issues around our table. And I think in terms of my position in my generation, having an organization that is so dedicated to mentoring uh, women, particularly in the visual arts, has really been very important. So to be honored for my small part in that effort um, is really quite terrific for me. Well, I think the uh, controversy about the Dana Schutz painting does bring to mind some of the issues that were germane to Harlem on my mind. The Harlem on my mind episode happened before I professionally um, entered into the field, but, but I had seen the show and I knew a lot of the people involved in the protests. I think that um, there still is a lot of discussion about who owns images and how images should be used. Um, I think that uh, what happened with Harlem on my mind was primarily focused on the fact that the exhibition was a photo uh, documentary of Harlem and had really omitted and left out the work of painters and sculptors and the, really the artists of Harlem uh, who were the bedrock you know, for the culture. With the Dana Schutz, it's, it's about um, a conflict of uh, intentions and also a kind of controversy over the appropriateness of using certain kinds of images. Um, this is a very hard thing to adjudicate in this climate uh, because once you start censoring one thing, you can basically start censoring somebody else. So I think that the value of the situation is that it has brought certain issues to the fore that can be discussed further. And I think there are probably a hell of a lot more people who know who Emma Till was uh, than before. And I think that it's a kind of sad irony that as this painting is being um, exhibited, that the woman who accused Till um, and sort of caused all the travails he went through in his death um, has now recanted her story. So I think that the lessons we learned from this is that there are many different ways to tell histories, that um, histories have been dominated by, you know, one class of scholars and commentators, but we have to be really cognizant of the fact that there are alternative versions of that history that are going to be offered by the people who actually live them. And um, somewhere in between there's going to be an interesting dialogue uh, that will result. We've had so many discussions over the years over the role of uh, Art Table. I think that uh, we've kept pretty close to the primary role of creating a network of women professionals in the visual arts. I think that, however, uh, given the current political and social um, conditions that we find ourselves in, that uh, some kind of extension and um, sort of taking of a position or being um, more activist seems to be called for. The challenge that we have with that is that is finding a kind of consensus. It's, it's difficult to get many women coming from different parts of the country, different ages, different generations, different aspects of working in the world to come together. But I think we can all agree that we want to uh, promote an atmosphere that supports and encourages um, creativity and provides a more um, an ex as, as diverse possible uh, context within that diversity um, so that the creativity that we see really represents the richness of the global community. Well, it's hard to pick out one accomplishment in my career. Um, I would say that um, I could never have predicted uh, when I started out that I would work for three of the most important museums in New York City. And that was really quite by chance and is really quite a uh, privilege. So going from the Metropolitan Museum where I worked for 27 years 
to the Studio Museum in Harlem, where I've worked for about seven years, and then going to the Museum of Arts and Design, where I worked for eight years. So I think that each experience that I had in each museum uh, really um, enriched me as a professional and as a human being, really um, added to my skills uh, just for coping in the world, not only just the art world, and really gave me a very um, rich and um, expanded view of what the field could be and who the people are in the field.